guys, it's Talia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my updated foundation routine. It is this foundation look right here. It is just super glowy with this like intense highlight, but still matte enough that my oils aren't going to come through and ruin my whole face. So if you want to know how to go from this to this, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I obviously have zero skin makeup on. I just have my eyebrows done and my sort of like lashes. I've just realized I have a mirror. <laughs> Queen of not knowing what she's doing. Talia, you have one job. I'm just gonna be using the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. So I just take a size like that on my hand, rub it between my fingers, that was probably too much. And I always just start in the center of my face because that is where my oily areas are. And then I just work my way out. Do you see? So it's not shiny, but it's not completely flat. It's got that like satin finish, which is why I love it. I just realized I have not worked my beauty blender. Am I alright? Am I alright? <laughs> so before I put my foundation, I'm going to use concealer. And now, the method that I found that works best for me is using a sort of medium or sheer to medium coverage foundation with a full coverage concealer. I also like to take a concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin colour. So I use the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Medium. I put way too much in the back of my hand. But I'm just taking a BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush. And I'm basically just going to spot conceal anywhere anywhere that is something that I do not want to come through. So see where this like giant red pimple is? RIP to you. Okay. Let's get rid of all these. Bye bye. I don't want it here. And then I'm just going around my nose area as well just because this <laughs> is a problem area for me. It just refuses to obey me in any way, shape or form. Now I'm just going to take my I love this foundation, it's probably my holy grail. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in the shade 210 uh, Sandy Beige. Now, I just, I just realized how ridiculous I look. This is like, upon first layer, a sheer to medium coverage, but it can be built up to like sort of a, a, f mm, a strong medium, let's say. It's never full, which is why I always put like concealer on, but this is like holy grail foundation and it's drugstore it's like a tenner what more could you want honestly only downside to this foundation is i don't think you can get it in the uk and obviously i know i'm english i got mine in america and i don't think you can get this in the uk i haven't found it yet if you do know where to get it in the uk please let me know in the comments because i love it and i'm running low and i'm really sad about it because i don't know when i'm next going to america but if you are american definitely cop it. Now I just shake some out onto my finger and then I just dot this all over my face. But I do one section at a time, so I'll start with this cheek. I'm gonna be using the Morphe sponge instead of a beauty blender. I, when I first used this, absolutely hated it. But now I've used it more, I actually think I prefer it to a beauty blender. Like, I think it needs like working in. Like, you know how like shoes sometimes need breaking in to be comfortable? I feel like that's the same with this sponge. You need to use it a few times and then it gets really good. Like, I feel like the first time it actually made my foundation pink because so much dye comes out of this. And so much dye still does come out of this when I wash it. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love it now. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm just going to do the rest of my face now. Okay, now I'm just going to go over with a light second layer. <laughs> I know this seems like a lot of foundation, but you can get away with a lot of this. Um, but this is just to make sure all the concealer is, like, blended in and I haven't got any, like, white bits because I did put quite a bit of concealer on. Obviously not gonna do any more on my forehead because my forehead's pretty clear, so I don't wanna make that. You don't need to put extra on where you don't need it. I'm tapping super lightly over the second layer because I do really just want it to sit over the top. What is my hair doing at the back? Why is it so spindly? But can you see how dewy my skin looks, even though I've used a matte primer? Now, for concealer, I'm gonna use the Naked Skin Concealer, but I'm gonna use two different shades. This is just me being extra AF, but really you only need one shade. I'm gonna use the shade Light Warm and Medium Light Warm. I'm gonna use Light Warm on this sort of like inner corner of my under eye. Can you see how much lighter that is than my skin color? So then I take the Medium Light Warm Concealer, which is actually pretty much the same colour as my skin, not even any lighter, which just gives a bit more coverage, and I just put that underneath where I put the light one. And then I'm just going to take the Beauty Blender again, although it's not a Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to blend that in. Do you see how much smoother my under eye looks now? It's magic! I'm then just going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, um, I think it's in the shade Translucent, and I'm literally just going to Plop this under my eyes. 
to sort of bake and set. And then I'm just gonna mattify, basically I'm putting this powder where the oilier parts of my face are, so just in my T-zone really. And then I'm just gonna use the rest that's on the sponge to set the rest of my face. I'm then just going to take the Bare Minerals SPF 20 foundation powder in the shade R250, I think. I don't know if they make this shade anymore. And I'm just using a BH Cosmetics number 2 brush. And I'm essentially just going to pack this on all over my face. Um, now this is where it starts to... If you have super dry skin, this can look really cakey. Which is why I use like a dewy foundation. Okay, and I'm just wiping off the bake with the Bare Minerals powder. And I'm massively like dabbing, I don't swirl the brush on my face because I don't want to move the foundation. I swirl it on my neck because I want to move the foundation down here so that it like blends better. But when it comes to my actual face, I always press. Then I'm going to move on to like sculpting my face and you know, putting the life back into it because at the moment I look a little bit crazy. And I'm just going to be using the Hoola Light Bronzer by Benefit. I'm just taking this on a Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush and I'm basically using this to contour. I know this is super light but that's why I really like it because you sort of start off not very strong and then you can kind of go a little bit harder um, you build up with like the darker colours do you mind me? I'm then just taking the MAC Gimme Sun bronzer I'm just taking this on a NYX number 21 brush if you are super fair wouldn't recommend this bronzer because it is quite orange toned um, and it is fairly dark. People always think I'm a lot paler than I am and then when they order the products they're like I thought I was the same skin colour as you but then when I tried this like bronzer it was like orange on me um, so just always bear that in mind like people often look a lot lighter on camera than they are in real life because of all the lights like I've got two giant lights next to me and a big light in front of me I'm obviously gonna look lighter than I am so always bear that in mind. Then for blusher, I'm going to be taking the Hourglass Incandescent Electra Ambient Lighting Powder. Ambient Lighting Blush Powder. Wait. Ambient Lighting Blush. Yes. Looks like this. I'm obsessed with this blush. It is incredible. Oh my goodness. And I am just taking that on an Hourglass number 2 brush. Um, I always really aggressively like hit this brush. Whenever I do live streams on my Instagram, people are always like, Oh my god, you're, you're a poor blush. But because this blush is so pigmented, I'm like, please don't make me look crazy. Um, and I just basically smile and like tap that onto the apples of my cheeks and then up onto the top of my cheeks. Can you see how it just gives a bit of sheen as well? Oh, I love it. I'm all for like shimmer blush and oh, I just put some on my nose and I have absolutely no idea why. I never do that. Awesome, I look ever so slightly sunburned. Why did I just put some on my chin? Am I alright? What the hell was I doing there? It's been a long time since I filmed, I just apparently don't know what I'm doing on camera anymore. So I do highlight in two steps, the first step is just basically to put on my face. And I'm using my all time fave, the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter, which obviously you can use code TALIA30 to get 30% off, you guys know. Um, but it isn't my all time favourite highlighter, as you can see because I have hit pan quite severely. I do have a backup waiting, I think I have two backups actually. I love this highlight so much. But essentially all I'm going to do is just put it on the high points of my face. Um, and I will intensify it afterwards. I mean, I don't need to intensify it. I mean, look at that highlight. That is literally me just ever so slightly tapping my face. Do you know what? I might not even do my intensifying step today. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Breathe, Talia. Breathe! It literally just looks like I have a metal cheek. And if that isn't goals, then I don't know what is. Holy bejeebas. Okay. I'm not going to be intensifying that. Normally I'd spray my face and then I'd put highlight on. But hell to the no am I doing that today. Do I seriously have highlight more intense than this when I go out? Because I, I do. <laughs> Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. Just I just like flick it across. And then just right on the tip of the nose. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then just a little bit above the brows. And then the last step, which is kind of almost the most important step, is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. This thing, makeup doesn't budge. I used to absolutely swear by this and I stopped using it for so long and I don't know why, 
so long, like a month. <laughs> and then yesterday, I did my makeup at 9 a.m. Put this on just because I was like, do you know what? I this used to hold my makeup for so long. Got home at 4 a.m. the next day. My makeup, I kid you not, looked exactly the same as when I first did it. Like exactly the same. My foundation did not move an inch. Like, mm, I swear by this stuff. Again, you can use my code Tyler 30, but if you're gonna get anything, get this and this, or just both. But yeah, I'm just gonna spray my face. It just helps to like melt everything into the skin as well. But really, this actually just fully sets your makeup. Like your makeup ain't going nowhere, honey. Okay, I'm gonna stick some gloss on. Oh, I need to do my lower lashes. This is the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. Uh, gloss. Why not? And this is the finished skin look. Personally, this is my favorite way to wear foundation. I think that it looks so much more like, obviously people are gonna know I'm, I'm wearing makeup. Like obviously no one's gonna think this is natural, but we're not, that's not the look we're going for. We're just going for like, uh, I know that's makeup, but I can't quite believe it just looks so like not cakey. Do you know what I mean? That is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of this little family thing we have going on. It'd be so lovely if you joined. Also, please leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. Like, do you want me to do some more updated sort of like routine videos that I have done previously or more makeup tutorials, more music covers? I just, I wanna know what you guys wanna see, so let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, then my social medias are all Tali My Music, spelled just like this on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ew, don't do that when you have lip gloss on.